Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> it's a busy place in here this morning. It's very have, busy. <laughs> we have Scott Dean joining everywhere. us uh, with HGTV Home Design Studio by Bassett. Always sharing some great information for all of us to uh, update our homes, freshen things up, uh, be very knowledgeable of how we plan our spaces, all kinds of great information. And today, we're going to be talking about rugs. We're going to be talking about just the basics of rugs because there's so much to know about rugs. I think you were saying we could do part basics. one, we, and part, part two, two and, part and three. And then yes. for people who really want to get into it, <laughs> you can go online and learn more. Yes. But, but today we're just going to talk about the basics of rugs because when you go out to shop for rugs or you're online shopping for rugs, there's so much to know. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hear you're going to hear all kinds of information like nylon type 6, type 6.6, .6, or you're going to hear fiber density and what does all that mean. So we're going to try to simplify it. Okay. And then like we may that. have to come back and, and unconfuse people after we confuse them. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause it's laughs> we like so that. Hard. That's why they can reach out to you and ask you personally. Yeah, of course. Like you can always stop into my studio and we can, we can try to uh, clarify. The, and, and the one thing I always start out with is, is uh, fibers. So because fibers are so important to know fibers, especially for when you, when you uh, want to introduce something into your home, whether or not you're allergic to a fiber, whether or not you want a certain fiber and you want it to uh, perform in a certain way. And we always talk about two, two ways of breaking down fiber. One is natural fiber, which would be your cottons, um, you know, your bamboo, bamboo. your flax, your sisal, mm -hmm. and then your synthetics, which is your olefins and all of the other things that go along with fake fibers. and. Okay and polypropylene. So those are the two fiber categories that we have. Natural is going to be more expensive than synthetic. And so uh, also when they make them, that's the same thing as wh whether or not it's how it's made. Why? Because with natural fibers, you know, they have to grow the cotton, they have to pick the cotton, they have to shear the sheep. And with synthetic fibers, it's all done by machine. By machine. Yeah. Right. So that's fibers. People that are worried about, because they, you know, their smells and all of that kind of stuff that comes with some of those. Uh, right rugs. Is that still a concern or are they doing a better job with uh, it? A little bit better job, but you still have concerns with that. People have allergies, especially to wool. That's usually the biggest one is a wool allergy or something that is wool fibers. Dust allergies can be a, mm. can be a problem because the fibers do actually go into the air. So you got to be very careful about uh, what you put in your home and whether or not it's going to be uh, user friendly for you. So the fiber, uh, knowing fibers is very important. When you go shop for it, you should be sure. looking for that. You should already know that. Don't just look at the pattern. Don't just look at the, <laughs> the colors and the pattern. Color, and the how, pad, how pretty, and yeah, can I sleep on this? Will my dog <laughs> like it? Will right, my cat right. like it? So those are fibers. And the second one is uh, price education. And when we talk about price education, we want to make it very simple that machine-made mass quantity is going to be a lot cheaper than uh, your ones that are more handmade or have designs or more important. So machine-made uh, rugs uh, are going to come over in mass quantities from Asia, less, less price. But I wanted to tell you about one thing you're going to hear, and that is hand-tufted rugs. And I put this together because it's very important. Hand-tufted rugs, they make this rug by hand from the back side and you can see on the upper right hand uh, upper uh, left. left hand is where the tufting hand uh, tufting tool is or on the right would be a machine tufting tool and you can see down below they're actually tufting it okay they tuff the back side of, of it then they shear that. the front side of it so they're actually making the design in reverse hints wow. more hand okay. yes more cost more time. and examples of hand tufting are the uh, this one's hand tufted okay. here. Um, some others that we have that uh, were hand tufted. Uh, you'll see that you'll see that it's been backed and it's um, yeah, so it's got a lot more work on it. Very nice. Right then, after after hand tufting is is for the most 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 expensive rug you can ever get would be one that you design yourself. You can actually do a painting. You can actually <gasps> send. You can. You can. You can send a photograph in, and they can actually make it into a rug. Wow! Yeah. I won't even ask how much that costs, but that's a very cool. <laughs> it is. Thing it is to a little bit. To do. That's a good investment. Exactly. Maybe some just kind of key art piece. To yeah. Add so you go, you're going. You're going from four four hundred dollars to four <laughs> lot more. Yeah. <laughs> <I> <laughs> and then when you're shopping from rugs, I wanted to just point out real quickly. You might be shopping from a catalog such as this, and what's really important is that, or you're shopping online. What's really important when you're shopping from a catalog is that you absolutely know that this picture may not equal this rug. So when you look at this picture 
and it's this rug, you should order a sample. It may not, you can't tell the thickness, you can't tell the color. Mm -mm. You can see this is a lot lighter than this one, or you can't tell the quality. Okay. So samples are very samples important. Samples are very important. Samples. And what I brought in today is all these 18 by 18 samples. These are very typical ones we order for clients. All of these that different. That gives you a nice, if you're gonna, right. they, you, they can be an investment, so you want to be sure exactly. you're getting what you want. And then the last thing is size and scale. And with size and scale, you want to know certain things, like do you want your furniture on the rug? Do you want your furniture off the rug? Do you want it to, uh, do you want the, the chairs in your dining room to slide back so they stay on the rug? Or do they, do they need to, uh, to come off the rug? And here's just a little example of maybe like the first uh, section up there says that you have um, your furniture on, hard on, or all the way on. So these, these examples are online. You can get them or you can come in and we can figure it out for you. And the last one just simply says that you should allow 24 inches for your dining room table, both directions for your chairs. Yeah, because you're scooting the chairs in and right. out. You don't want to be hitting that lip of them and so forth. So that's uh, some good <laughs> space planning there. So there's this, there's the space planning. So you know how to shop for it. You know you're going to get a sample. And you, and you know a little bit about quality. So you know about price. Yeah. So Because price ranges can be all over the board. So you do need to know these things. And today we have the, the most perfect takeaway things because these takeaways are going to get you through rug shopping. And they would be that you want to absolutely plan for, for uh, space plan for size and thickness. Again, thickness mm -hmm. under doors or under or is the or is the chair going to slide back? And then samples are key. Get a sample, even if it's some yarn fibers. Yeah. Get a sample so that you can make sure that the that the uh, this one colors, I was surprised right? by the third one. I don't know that I always do it in that order. And the reason it is last one rugs first because. There are a lot more fabrics and a lot more paint. So we go rug, if you possible. Know, you pick your rug first, rug, then you then pick fabric, your paints and stuff paint, off of yeah. that. So very good information. As always, if you want to find out more, go to HGTVDSM.com. Visit his studio out there in Urbandale. He's always happy to the help. They'll greet you at the door with a great smile. <laughs> All about rugs. Thank you so much. Uh, stay tuned. We've got